again yellow needs to go down up turn down turn yellow has gone down and then you just twist it and the cube is solved right hi i'm joseph and i'll teach you how to solve a rubik's cube now i'm no expert um, i can solve it in 90 seconds and the world record is four seconds so that puts things in perspective 90 seconds is nothing so if you want to if you want to learn how to do it really really fast like within a minute or 30 seconds or whatever i would suggest you know go to some other tutorial but this is just to show that you can solve the rubik's cube right uh, so at the beginning it might take you three minutes or two and a half minutes and then you can do it faster and faster and you can be get better at it uh, the other thing is uh, if you're just picking it up right now i would suggest buy a better cube don't buy the, the one that's squeaky and it's very hard to turn get something that's easy to turn like this so that uh, it doesn't add friction to you learning to solve the rubik's cube having said that i have put a link in the description you can click on that and buy that in from Amazon. Uh, this cube uh, cost me, I think, 250 rupees or 300 rupees. Um, yeah, if you want, you can buy that. There are some fundamentals of the cubes that uh, I'm assuming you will already know, or rather just buy one, play around, you will quickly understand. Uh, every cube here has a space, has, has a specific place in this bigger cube. For example, the center, um, colors are there are totally six colors there are six phases of the cube and these colors do not change uh, they'll always be exactly in the same place blue and green will always be opposite white and yellow will be opposite orange and red will be opposite um, and also um, each cube has a specific place right so you, you you have to solve it exactly the right way that's what adds to the challenge of solving a rubik's cube Um, now let's get started. So white and yellow are always opposite. You always start by making a white cross. So white cross means uh, you need to just have uh, a white uh, cube in these four places and, and the center. Center obviously is already white. Now uh, the difficulty is or rather uh, you know, the challenge is that uh, when you're making the white cross it's not just putting the white squares here. But also, uh, when you add a white, this color should also align to the middle color. So, for example, this is white, white, green. So, here that should be green, right? So, green. So this is easy. But now you need to just do, do the same thing for the rest of the place. So, let's see. For example, here there will be a white and orange. Now, you just have to search where the white and orange is. Here there is white and orange. So, now you bring it here. So, now you've got yourself white, orange, orange white green green now here that will be white and red sorry white and blue so look for white and blue um white and blue so you got white and blue come here turn it like this now you got white blue blue now you look for white and red that's the last this is the white and red right so you move here to this to this and bring it back now you got yourself a white cross ignore the colors on the other four squares that's okay you got white cross aligning with the red dot green orange and blue this is called a white cross so once you've done the white cross turn the cube so that yellow always points points towards your points up now as you can see white cross is done these are there are four uh, edges of this first layer that needs to be fixed um what you need to do is there's one one move that you have to sort of remember and i call it uh, up turn down turn because it's easier to remember that way so right hand up turn down turn is this you take your right hand you know this is the one that's facing up up turn down turn right right so right face up so when i'm doing the right right hand right handed up turn down turn right face up turn with the index finger right face down turn with your left index finger right up turn down turn so this is uh, one move that you will have to remember and similarly if you were to do it with your left hand it will be again up turn down turn okay up turn down turn so this is what you'll have to just sort of remember right up turn down turn left up turn down turn um so now let's get started so we've done the white cross now we want to uh, put a put the right cube here 
So the right cube here would be white, green, and orange. So a cube that has white, green, and orange is the one that will come here. So we're going to look for it. So we got white, green, and orange, right? Now, when you find that edge, align that to where it is supposed to be. It doesn't matter what color is which side. White, orange, and green. Orange, uh, sorry, orange, green, and white, right? So this is where it's supposed to come. So align it like this. After that, do the right-handed up turn down turn. So up, turn, down, turn. Okay, this time we just had to do it once and already it's in the right place, right? Similarly, this one. Similarly, let's look at this one. Here, the right cube would be something that has the color white, green, and red. Look for white here. We get white, green, and red. Again, align it to the right place where it's supposed to go. Then you do up, turn, down, turn. Again, it's in the right place. Now again, turn it around. Here, the, the right color should be white, red, and uh, blue. Look for it. So now you've got white, red, and blue. Align it to the place where it's supposed to fall then do the right handed up turn down turn right you did it once it didn't fix do it again keep doing it till you get the right thing right so it's very simple like you said you align it and then just do right hand right handed up turn down turn one time two time three time so sometimes it, it'll fix uh, right after the one time you do sometimes it'll take three times sometimes it'll take five times then now the last one here again uh, you need white orange and blue look for white orange and blue here it goes now again align it to the right place where it's supposed to go then you do up turn down turn up turn down turn Just keep doing that and you got yourself this so now you can see that the white is completed the first layer is also completed right it's not just completed but it aligns with the middle dot green is green orange is orange blue is blue and red is red so this is what you've done like i said again always point yellow up towards you or maybe up and then now you've done the first layer now you need to do the second layer now for the second layer what you need to do is uh, the the cube that will come here should have green and red correct right? here it should be green here it should be red so look for that there you go here i found that uh, piece so just now bring it here green red now it's got red and green this one's got red and green but the way this is placed is that red is in this red aligns to red if i move had to move it like that it doesn't align with the green right so keep it like this now we need to change this square this cube right so once you aligned it move this piece away from where it's supposed to go so move this piece just the top layer to towards the left right and then do a right-handed turn down turn and then turn it around so that now you see the other color to a left hand up turn down turn once you do that this is in the right place right let me show that again red and blue now let's look for red and blue now red and blue seems to be here now here this make technique will not work so you need to push it out so to push this out you need to push something in right so one of the things is again you need to push this out right so you now this piece is on the right side. So you right, right hand it up, turn, down, turn, turn, down, turn, right? Then you turn it around. This is the piece that you want to push out. Okay. So when you do that, you can see that uh, everything else is intact. That piece has come out. Now we wanted uh, you know, blue and red. We got blue and red. Now blue aligns to blue. So align it to this. And this is the place where it's, this is supposed to displace this one, right? So now move it away. Again, right-handed up turn down turn, and left-handed up turn down turn. You got it in the right place, right? Now again, um, blue and orange. Where is blue and orange? Blue and orange. Now this is not aligning, so you have to move the blue here so it aligns. Remember, this is this cube that you want to uh, you know, uh, replace with this one. So move it away like this. Okay, this is the one. So now this is on the left hand. So left-handed up turn down turn. Turn it and again do a right hand up turn down turn. Once you do that, again this is in the right place. Now the last one is orange and uh, green. So where is orange and green? So this is orange and green, right? Align green to green. This is the one that it has to replace, which is the right of this, right? So now you move it away one step, turning left. This is the one that you want to do. So you do right hand up turn down turn. Then you do a left hand up turn down turn. 
there you go so we've got two layers of all the right colors done with the top white also done right <clears throat> now there are multiple cases and first and foremost to move, move on to the next step you need this l shape now this l shape is already made here like as you can see so it's good now when you have the l shape right uh, make sure that this l or the reverse l is on the top left like this right ignore anything else this has to be top left so this is on the top left now now you turn it clockwise and then you do up turn down turn on the right up turn down turn right and then do it once more up turn down turn then because you are rotated it clockwise rotate it anti-clockwise so now you got a yellow cross this is another case where you have finished the two layers and um, when you turn around I and mean, when you look at the yellow uh, face of the cube there's just one yellow there's no l right that you need to proceed um, so what you do then is face the yellow on top turn any side clockwise once and then do the up turn down turn right and then you can turn back so when you do that you will see that none of these things are affected right now but you got your l the reverse l and when you get a reverse l you keep it on top left and then you again do a clockwise do up turn down turn right and then again you can do anti-clockwise now you get a horizontal l horizontal line this horizontal line so keep it in a way that the line is horizontal not vertical to you once you get the horizontal line again you uh, turn it clockwise do up turn down turn then again move it like this so now you got your yellow cross now when you get the yellow cross not all the times these things will be aligned for example now this orange is aligned blue is aligned but this red and green are not aligned right so two sides are not aligned so what you do is when these two sides are aligned you just keep it in a way so that uh, the orange i mean the, the one that is aligned that is on your right and not and you know towards the back uh, the front one is not aligned and the left one is not aligned right keep it like this and then you move turn this up once once down then again now turn it up once twice put it down again right now what this does is it ensures that the two layers that you created already are fine and also now your blue is aligned orange is aligned green is aligned and red is aligned so all of them are aligned um, so there are two cases one case is where uh, you have um, the yellow cross you know orange green red and blue all of them are aligned that's perfect now we need to get these four edges uh, right so what you need to do is first look um, if these cubes are in the right place now they're definitely not in the right orientation but are they in the right place for example this is not in the right place because there's a red here but there's no red here this one green orange and yellow this is in the right place this cube but not in the right orientation this is not in the right place and this is not in the right place so when you find something like that when you have one of them in the right place then you keep them keep that particular cube on on the bottom right right and then you do this move which is right up left up right down left down okay once you do it now this wouldn't have changed at all this will be in the right place check if others have others are correct now uh, red green and yellow red green and yellow this is right blue red yellow blue red. okay so all, all four of them are in the right places this is in the right orientation these three are not in the right orientation now what you need to do is Okay, turn it upside down so that the white is on top the yellow is at the bottom this is very important this is the final step um, these cubes are in the right places but not in the right orientation so what you do now is you need to fix one cube at a time so the bottom right cube this is what you're going to fix you're going to use the right handed up turn down turn till the yellow comes down this is fixed now remember to turn only the bottom layer to the next cube that you want to fix the orientation of the cube that you want to fix don't uh, get scared forget about these things you just need to fix it turn the bottom layer so that this cube comes here 
Now you're going to do the up turn down turn till the yellow goes down. Okay, done. Now turn that bottom here again. Now turn that bottom here again. Yellow needs to go down, up turn down turn. Yellow has gone down. And then you just twist it and the cube is solved. Right?